What's going on, everyone? Zach D Productions here. So, as you can see by the title, this is an invitation. So, me, Brian delivers you the goods, and Junebug Films have talked about it. So, and, and hopefully they'll be on the panel, by the way. I, I just sent them messages. So... All in all, this is an invitation for none other than Larry the Batman fan, since he wants to keep running his mouth. So we're just going to confront you here, dude. We're going to settle this, all right? Hey, there's Junebug Films. An invitation for what? I'm afraid to ask. For Larry the Batman fan. <laughs> All right, give me a sec. I'll send. Uh... I'll send Junebug Films the link. Oh, you changed your name? Cool. Godzilla fan for life? I like it. Yeah, I sent it to you, uh, Ty. Hey, what's up, Max Palmer? I really hope he joins, right? Yeah, since he wants to keep talking his mouth. To keep running his mouth, rather. Saw your video on Larry. He sounds like an idiot. Well, he is. And there's Junebug Films. Everyone, welcome, Ty. Hello. Hello. Uh, Let's get well, Larry in here. He sucks, right? <laughs> yeah. And I just want to say, you know, with this whole thing, like, you know, Larry, if he happens to even watch this, you, you're the one that you, you're kind of one of the reasons why people drift away from Christianity. If I'm being harsh here you're not wrong because listen i mean i am sure i will i will fully admit i struggle with it you know judging others i struggle with that every well, day I think as that's a something that everyone everyone struggles with all right i'm gonna yeah. send cole the link yes especially as a christian i struggle with it a lot because listen we i want people to follow this wonderful god you know right but, you know, at the end of the day, Jesus has said that it, it, is, it, it is up to the individual. Right. Hey, what's going on, Leon? So what do, you, what, so what do we think? Is, he, is the coward going to show up or no? Yeah, who knows? Hey, Brian. Hello, Brian. <laughs> but listen, I... Uh, I, I just lately I've been respecting the words of Lemmy Kilmeister. Yes, I am racist towards assholes. <laughs> yep. And um, it, listen, if you're not racist towards assholes, then dude, that says a lot about you. <laughs> That's yeah. right. So there he has the most pointless YouTube channel in all of existence. Yeah. Well, I mean, he does. Well, hey, what's and, up, prison meddler? Yeah, and then, and then like Zach, you know, like, listen, I mean, I, I, you know, at least with you can fix the problem that people are criticizing you for the most. Turn your camera around. Don't sit there, act like you're talking on the phone. You know, right. it's like, oh my, oh my gosh, dude. Fuck this Larry guy. <laughs> right yeah yes i know well listen like i said dude you make christians look bad you're you're the problem why people drift away from christianity you know instead of you should actually read the bible it has many verses of not judging others and right. what is he doing 
Yeah, and that's what uh, Forrest was saying. Sorry, I think my Didn't audio you... was messing up, or I couldn't hear you for a moment. Oh, you're good. You're good, Brian. Tech yeah, problems. Got I a just light. had to turn on. No, I had to turn on the Wi-Fi, so I just had to do that. Okay. So, yeah, no. So I mean, what's the topic about again? Hey, J Dog, how's it going? It's about oh. Larry the Batman fan, some crackhead who was being a dick to uh, Zach. Well, we're also going to try that to confront him. Me. Well, we're also going to try to confront him and sit there and say, obviously, he has a lot to say, right? So this is, this is, yeah, uh, and he's still, he's still commenting on my video. It's like, dude, give it a rest. Well, so this is an open take, an invitation. He won't stop. He's just and yet he, do cla this. he claims he works full time, but it's like, if you work full time, how do you have time to make all these comments? Yeah, for real. Does he, doesn't he look, looks like he works at a hospital or something? I think that's what Brian said. Yeah, he's a, I think a custodian or something. Okay, so that explains it. Basically, unless somebody no, pukes. He works and... for uh, environmental services or something for a hospital. It's something like that. Oh, I thought he was like a cafeteria worker or something. No, not a cafeteria worker. He works as a. What the? Uh, like trash and all that he's like janitorial kind of stuff i don't know okay I, he oh, probably right. would explain it better but still okay so that explains I can't it though. Stand the guy that that explains it though unless some, so unless somebody pukes and he th then he's commenting <laughs> you'd be like okay i gotta clean up the trash <laughs> unless it's his puke. unless it's his puke oh my god <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. Why did we bring this up? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So but still, he yeah, just cause... won't uh, shut his mouth about things. So yes, what I'm saying is that you know, I, as I was just saying that you know, I you know I am a proud Christian, and if somebody doesn't want to be a Christian, you know. We we live in America. We have the freedom of religion. Exactly. You know, I mean, now if you're a Satanist, I'm gonna still question you, but it's like, okay, cool. I don't want to be around you, right? Be yeah. But but cool, dude. You know, I am cool. Keep in mind, he's a Baptist. He's an extreme Baptist. Exactly. It's America. Oh, it's a free country. Oh. You can do what you want. I mean, like. Like, well, I'm allowed to choose what food I want to eat and f fuck whoever that crackhead is who unfriended Zach because he's vegetarian. Yeah. Oh, Billy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, here's the other thing, too. So, believe me, I know Baptists. My dad is a Baptist and my mom is a Catholic. So, no wonder they got a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that would so, explain a lot. So what? So I grew up on the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to religion. Hey, unlike Baptist, dancing is awesome because <laughs> Baptists can't dance, according to my according to some Baptists. Because <laughs> I like dancing because hey, I mean I I love women, you know. So and dancing is dan yeah. there, there's nothing more fun than dancing with a beautiful woman. So. Why? Wow, what's next? Is some is some troll gonna unfriend Zach because he wears socks or something? <laughs> hey, you never know, Cole. And yes, Prison Metaler, yes, that is uh, uh, that's Prison Metaler. That's what he said. Yeah, Wait, that's, it's the that's same the guy, guy who said about. Harry Potter is evil because of what a dummy. Okay, listen, I used I used to know people who do that because again, I actually did grow up Baptist. And Catholic, so opposite end of the spectrum. And listen, I mean, unless a movie, like, and unless it's a, the only evil movie I would consider is like, um, the one of those movies, like a Serbian movie, or a Serbian film, or something like yeah. that. You know? Yeah, that's evil. Yeah, fuck that movie. I've never seen it, and I never will. 
Yeah, uh, or like may- maybe the human centipede from from what I've heard, that's more comedy in some ways. I've seen, that. God, I've that seen those like movies. It. I've seen those movies, and those movies fucking suck. Uh, I did, however, see one movie I hate that so many people like. It's a horror movie that got good reviews. It's called Martyrs from 2008. It's a French horror film. You ever hear that one? No. No. It's. So Rambo Route for Life, he did a video called uh, as a I think I've quest, heard of it, but worse. I never really watched it. He did a video called Which is Worse, uh, a yeah. Serbian a, a Martyrs or a Serbian film, and he basically described how stupid Martyrs was. I reviewed yeah. that movie for October just because it was a horror movie, and there were some I wanted to review I never saw, and that movie got good reviews, and it's an overrated piece of crap. So that's yeah. the uh, most overrated well, horror movie that- I've seen. Zach, if you yeah. want to get him in here, if you want to get in it in here, I think you got to tag him. But yeah, no, maybe. that terrible a Ser- Serbian film. So an that invitation got bad reviews, but somehow, somehow, martyrs didn't. Well, listen, I saw I saw a movie that I'm not supposed to watch as a Christian. I saw The Exorcist, and guess what? That movie is about what the Bible is about. The Bible essentially is about good versus evil. Right. And so oh, yeah. and the, the Omen is my favorite horror movie of all time because it's about good versus evil. And if Gregory Peck was not in that movie, it would not have worked. Right. Because, because Gregory Peck... Okay, the, the, I'm not comparing the actors, but the best way I can do describe it is it, it, it's, it's like if Tom Hanks did a horror movie. That's how yep. significant that was. And that movie is what got Richard Donner on oh. the map as a director. In fact, Richard Donner, he got the job to direct movies like Superman, The Goonies, and Lethal Weapon because <laughs> of how successful The Omen was. Yes. And listen, the whole debate about Christians cannot watch horror movies, you know, it just That's needs stupid. to end. It just needs to end. Now, like, listen, I'm not going to sit there and watch a movie where, like, I, I understand, like, I, the only movies I will probably not watch, and I've heard of them, unfortunately, it's just because the director makes me uncomfortable and the right. content of the movie. It's, it's The title pretty much says it all what the movie is about. It is called the, it's a trilogy of movies called the Vomit Gore Trilogy. Ew. Uh, okay. And what, yes. was this director a pedophile or yeah. something? Um, no, at least not proven. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not going to accuse him of anything because it's not proven in the court of law. But he's. But from what I've seen, heard of the movies, he definitely put his weird stuff on the film. And yeah, yeah I re- <laughs> not, I'm there, not. Not going to watch that. Yeah, I don't even care if some listen. Um, listen, the only way, the only way I will review those movies is if I got if I get a trillion dollars in <laughs> cash, tax free. I want that. I will review those movies for a trillion dollar cash app request because PayPal doesn't like me. So, trillion dollar cash app request. Wow. I'll, I'll I'll review those movies and heck. And then at that point, it's like, sweet, I beat Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos. I'm now the richest man in the world. So <laughs> thank you. At that point, I'm even doing a live commentary for it on my YouTube channel. I mean, if I get a copyright claim, I could pay pay it off anyway because it's only $75,000. So. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> so Yes, you may. Look, uh, I saw your video, dude. You make your the reason why there is such a divide with the church right now is because you know you dog on people who aren't Christian. You know, like, and you act all high and mighty. Like, listen, I struggle with that as well as a Christian. I think every single one of us has. Who I I don't know anybody's Christian, you know, faith here, but you know, I'm pretty sure. Every all of us at least judge. We have that point where we judge others and everything, and we then we realize, man, I shouldn't have done that. That was, you know, like we were thinking with our idiot brain, you know. And everybody right. has, yeah. everybody has that problem. Yeah. Well, 
Uh, another question, Junebug. If you liked the first Omen, what'd you think of the sequels? I liked the I liked the first two Omen movies, but did not like anything after that. And then recently, they came out with a, a prequel to that movie called The First Omen, which I wasn't interested in, but I have heard good things about it, so I might check it out. I like Omen. I like Omen two. I actually do like Omen three. Omen four. It's not a great movie, but I kind of have fun with it, you know. Uh, the, I think they did a remake. I don't think that one ex exists. I've seen the remake. It's pretty bad. I know. I it doesn't exist. So, <laughs> and I haven't seen the first Omen yet, mainly because, um, well, was trying to start a media company, uh, dealing with, you know, and everything else that comes comes with that, and also trying to trying to find a trying to find a, at least a job that pays. You know, paid so I can. I'm at right now. I'm actually trying to work on getting an LLC, mm. which I, I found. He's been running his mouth, J Dog. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Listen, I mean this. You know, I saw his. Listen, I, I've seen a lot of. We've all seen a lot of cringe on YouTube before. I couldn't even finish his videos of watching him because yeah, you, you can't finish. Like his videos are just really boring. Like I know I ramble on very I think boring. I ramble on uh, about stuff and you know but at least I sit there and get, I I give myself at least a 10 like a 10 minute rule. If I can't wrap it up in 10 minutes, I do a take 2, you know, if it's going to be a rambling rant. You know what I mean? Cuz I think 10 minutes, if you go longer than 10 minutes and you're ranting, that that video is going to get you nowhere. I mean, unless you're... Well, I tend to do that sometimes, but I try to make my point across in a way. I did a 20-minute rant on my least favorite Godzilla movie, All Monsters Attack. Fuck that movie. Yeah. Okay, well, a, a rant on YouTube, though, for like a movie, as long as you're over the top like Fabio or, you know, Rambo Raph, then it's funny, right? But like, when it's something like, you know drama or you know you, you know basically you know but let, let's face it i mean at, at this rate larry larry the batman fan at this rate it's a dick measuring contest <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, listen, we're like listen good for you dude whatever i don't care that, that's how we're, we're feeling right now and plus like my my i think my parody video says it all right yeah and I did that video purposely crappy. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> that was so much better. <laughs> oh, After, I much better. The After I flushed <laughs> the toilet. Yeah, it was I something mean, like that, but it was oh, fun. Shit. <laughs> I mean, because listen, I mean, we... The, oh, you did, Larry... If he even happens to watch this afterwards, he's probably going to make a video about it after the stream, right, Zach? Nothing would surprise me. So, my, my thing is, here's my thing. Just, you know, sometimes, what I have learned, especially on YouTube, if you don't like somebody, don't sit there and do the whole trend. I hate you, you hate me, all that stuff. Cause at the end of the day, both of you look like an the idiot. Uh, That's what... Yep. That's why it's like, okay, make your point, and boom, you're done. Because at the end of the day, you know, both of you look like a jerk if you just sit there and comment after comment. Like, usually if I say something that a lot of people aren't going to like in comments, usually I, I don't even reply to them. I'm like, you know what? I said my point. Leave it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I and I used to do that on YouTube. I used to be that guy, but guess what? I realized, you know what? That just doesn't. It causes drama just for the sake of drama, uh -huh, and that right. gets you nowhere at the end of the day. So, and yeah. I try to get better about that. But you know, sometimes that sometimes that you know it's it's like the Godfather Part Three. Just when you think you're out, it pulls you back in. Yeah. 
So, and by the way, since Andrew's in the chat here, something like that. Um, did did you ever tell Zach? Did Zach? Did you ever tell Andrew the offer? Uh, I I know that you've been wanting to talk to him, but um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Andrew, do you want the link? Hey, what's going on, Jose Productions? Yeah, so, I mean... Hey, Jose I've, Productions. Hello, Jose. So, I've... But no, I mean, it's just one of those things. It's... To me, it's like, okay. You know, and... Here's my question, Larry. Let's, you know, G Jesus would not do what you're doing. We already know that. But think what would Batman do? Batman would leave it alone. <laughs> yeah. You know, listen. He thinks I mean, he is Batman. <laughs> he's more. Uh, he, no, no, he probably, Batman, no, he probably. No vision. No, he probably fights crime in the no, 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 city. No, no, he probably thinks he's Larry Boy. <laughs> I am Larry Boy. <laughs> He's, he's Larry Boy. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but, but but like Larry Boy with the cheap plungers around his <laughs> the ones that like the ones that like he got he got at Dollar Tree and then like as soon as he pl starts plunging the the wood breaks and he's like oh fuck <laughs> that's five dollars down the toilet he won't get back he probably. Probably puts oh, his good. God. It's probably where he put puts his good paying job down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I mean, listen, I'm not. Listen, I mean, everybody, we all, you know, it. Listen, at least like Zach has aspirations of being a filmmaker. I have aspirations. Yeah, that's of another thing too that I wanted to bring up. Larry doesn't know why I'm called Zach D Productions. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Zach, you work on film and shit. Well, Zach, you've never you've never made a movie before, right? And you've never done that, right? I mean, well, you've never... I, I guess it's really been that long since I've posted any film, so I guess some people just don't know. Yeah, I find I, it kind of ironic because he's like, oh, well, do your research or whatever before you criticize a channel. And it's like, uh, take your own advice, dude. Yeah, well, but <laughs> listen, I mean, and then like my thing is like, too, like we all have aspirations that we want to get do better in life. You know, Zach, you want you actually want to be a filmmaker. You're really trying at that, at least with X ray. From all I've seen, you're really trying hard to make this your best film yet. For sure. And you know, I'm trying to get better as a as a leadership person for my company. You know, and I've I've failed. I'm I'll admit it. I've failed at it sometimes. Um I don't know really know what Brian yeah, true. what what your dream job is, but just music and movie reviews and basically I'm just like sticking with that. Well, um you have a thousand over a thousand subscribers now. Uh you I don't know what your watch what what's your watch time. Uh it's not even at four thousand yet. It dropped because I had uh people that watched and then it, i think it's like 23 34 or something like that okay larry's um, probably larry's so probably it, upset jerking off to the street right now saying oh my gosh you're talking about me <laughs> you know who knows oh he's, he's probably uh, as soon as I we end the, as soon as we end the stream listen uh, um, let's give it at least maybe a few hours, right? As soon as he ends the stream, he is going to make a video about it. I'll, I'll put money on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Probably. Like, but who cares? Exactly. And then it's like after this, it's like, dude, you had your chance. If he, if he, you blew it. 
Yeah, in the blew. words of Robert, De- in the words of Robert De Niro from the Stallone movie Copland, you blew it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe what Was he should the do. Link already in the chat or something. <laughs> Some Harry Potter character. <laughs> well, he's gonna. Uh, hey, you know, I'll say this though, you know, Emma. There's one good thing about Harry Potter, though. Emma, despite M- Emma Watson being a bit of a crackhead, you know, remember, you know, we're around the same age. Emma Watson, she's, she's, she's very pretty. So, yeah. And, uh, oh, yeah. you know, Emma Watson definitely was one of my first celebrity crushes. Despite her being a bit of a crackhead now. Right. But hey, yeah, I've heard things. Yeah, with me, Max, I, I'm not really into horror too much either. I'm more of an action guy. I I like all genres, but my favorite genre is the Hollywood epic. Yeah, like Ben Hur or Lord Lord of the Rings or something like that. Here's which the thing I, with me: I like Lord of the Rings, but they're not movies I watch often just because they are long. Yeah, they really are. Like you, they're good movies, but I feel like you got to be in the right mood to watch those types of movies. Oh yeah, I, that's I I save them for Christmas usually, you know. All right. Um. But, yeah, but yeah. You know, a lot of the kids in my school grew up with them. I didn't watch them until around five years ago. Yeah. Hey. Uh. Brian, here's a suggestion for you. Did you ever think about starting a yeah. podcast? Like starting a podcast where you interview, like maybe music piece people or something like that. I've thought about that, um, but I just got to get a whole setup and all that. Um, I, you know, I do my podcast just through on my phone. You know what I mean? Oh. Like. I, like actually what I have is um listen, Craigslist, yes, we all know it's sketchy, but use your better judge. Use your better right. judge. Yeah, I Uh-oh. I've never used Bye. Craigslist and I'm okay because I tried eBay once and I got screwed over by that, so Amazon it is for me. Yes. Um what what I was gonna suggest to him is buy like a just buy what I would do is probably you know, w- save up some money for it, you know, because I know your situation. Mm-hmm. Save up some money. Oh, uh, yeah. And try to find a, a cheap iPhone. to f- and But, because, you know, you can use an iPhone and you don't even have to have a SIM card as long as you sign it through your YouTube channel. And that, that, that phone can just be used for YouTube. That's, yeah. that's actually what I do sometimes with my videos. Nice. So, Especially for uh, YouTube, especially when I'm I doing have, interviews. I have Android, but uh, I'm most likely going to get another phone eventually. I already yeah. listed my old phone, so I don't need it anymore. What I, what I would do is, what I would do is actually save your old phone and just use it for oh, it's YouTube. Already been sold. Oh, okay. Well, probably save up then buy it buy like an iPhone. You know, because you could get them for like a hundred bucks. You know, sometimes on yeah. on Craigslist. You know, and obviously with Craigslist, just use a better judge. Craigslist, personally, I don't trust it. I'd rather go to like eBay or. Oh, Amazon. fair, fair enough. What about Whatever. Facebook Marketplace? Mm. Yeah, I don't really trust Facebook Marketplace. I bought stuff there. from there. I bought something from Facebook Marketplace two years ago, and it never showed up. So yeah. The hell with that. Well, uh, use, the, use whatever site you're you're wanting to use, and Amazon then for me. yeah, I know where to go for my sources. Yeah, and then you know, find a cheap iPhone, and then you just you can just film videos on that and everything, and then you can even interview people because you know, I mean, I mean, and then you know, you could always reach out to celebrities. Like, uh, okay, listen. 
Um, you could go bold with it. You could try to reach out to Alice Cooper, but you're not going to get Alice Cooper. That would be awesome if you could, but you know, the chances are highly unlikely. Yeah, but like you could probably reach out to yeah. like. I mean, you could probably reach out to like the good. Um, oh crap! What's his name? Um, maybe you could like maybe you, you could reach out to the guitar player for Aerosmith that replaced Steve Perry. I'm really drawing a blank on his name right now. Um, you know, somebody, somebody no, like that. I, I you know, know who I'd want to interview. But yeah, but but uh, you would have to keep. Uh, up you would have to keep it up and yeah. everything. Um, yeah. I did uh, want to go over uh, a couple things here. Okay. Yeah, Dead Yellow. Did you see Larry's bathroom vid? Someone noticed he had his fly down. Oh, okay. I wanted to say something about this, actually, because the person who made that comment is Maloney. Okay, so Larry, so that, um, that kind of is, is a little weird. That if it really did happen, then it's like, what the hell? Yeah, um, my that here's was my people's problem. Here's my question: hey, If his up, fly was in? here's my question: If his fly was down, what you know? Hopefully, the chicken wasn't showing. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Hopefully. Although, because if that shows on YouTube, you might be you might be in some trouble. Oh, well, no. we all know oh, a certain oh. someone did that. You know but, who I'm talking about. Eh, shit. But Cole. Cole. Oh, I know. It might, but We're talking Cole, about Apture. Cole, it might be so tiny you could even see it. <laughs> 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 What is it you say what about is, yeah. uh, Brian after Junebug? Is it Brian Assless? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, we were just bringing him up just a second ago. Like we know a certain someone who puts his fly down. Now, luckily, it, you know what? This person well, has not commented on my videos in like a year. They only commented like once or twice, but. So, oh, a remake that most people hated that I thought was a terrible remake was the Lion King remake. I didn't pay to see that in theaters, but I saw it at home. But anyways, I did a review on that movie saying how I didn't like it. And then someone said they liked the movie. And I was being respectful about it, saying, I don't get why some people would, but I respect your opinion. If you enjoy this movie, more power to you. And then the person made a, dick, uh, a dickhead comment to me saying the movie made a billion dollars, so shut the hell up. Wow. Well, I, mean, I just watched that comment. I mean, to be fair, let's be fair. He does have a point, but you didn't like the movie. It's your opinion. Exactly. So, you know, like it doesn't. Yeah. A movie could uh, uh, look, look how many good movies have flopped. Exactly. Yeah. Dead yellow. Uh, he is one of those guys, you know, the trolls from last year. <laughs> Heck, I got it right here. Even King of the Monsters, this movie bombed. And for whatever reason, Warner Bros. thought it was a good idea to put it out the same day that crappy Aladdin remake came out. And and then they made a sequel. And that did good. And then they actually made a couple sequels. One of which is in theaters right now, which is awesome. That's an awesome movie. Yeah, I saw that. It was pretty good. Yeah. So, I don't... Here's my thing. Hmm. I, and and by the way, uh, I, I just want to say respect to you, Brian, for actually giving him the money back. We, eventually, you know, we we know. Oh, did he, have, Brian? Did you give him the money? Um, I think he's having. Is he having internet issues? But anyway, I, I know he said he was going to pay him back. Honestly, I agree with you, Zach. I probably wouldn't give him the money back because it was a gift. I mean, hey, I'll, I'll admit it. I've I've admitted this to family members. If there's an actor or anybody in, involved in the movies that's on my shit list, I'll return it. I've told family members that. And plus, it's a gift. So you, 
you gave it to them. You could do whatever you want with it, you know? Right. And if you get money back for it, it's technically like they just gave you money pretty much instead of the the movie. Right. Yeah, so respect to you for paying them back. I, I, w- I wouldn't have done it, but... Hey, hey what's Zach, up, Dylan? I- I loved your pitch where it was an ideal for Expendables Five, where the uh, where the kids from Nickelodeon team up to kill pedophiles, including Dan Schneider. I would go watch that movie. Well, what I was what I was saying was basically how, like, that's what I would do with the careers of the Nickelodeon stars. Yep. Turn like make Expendables like franchise. You know what? Here's my question. Could you guys see Drake Bell as an action star? Yeah, you know, I was thinking about Wait, him like being what, the main which character. Which Nickelodeon like, show was he in? And who Drake did and he Josh. play? Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. He was Drake. Uh, yeah, I, I could see him as an action star. It's funny you say that because I was thinking like he could be like the Stallone of that Expendables team, you know? Sorry about yeah, that. No, I could uh, see it. Audio was cutting out for some odd reason. Yeah, no, I could see. No, I could. I would like to see that. Like, cause Drake. Hopefully, Drake can get a comeback after this because he he deserves one. And look at it this way, Zach. You already have somebody that can do a song for the movie, then, right? Yep. Because Drake can play guitar and. Yeah, he makes music. Yeah. Like. So I don't. Uh, and my only problem, my only concern with that is a lot of those kids haven't acted in like 10 years. Yeah. So, so what were you it's, saying earlier, Junebug, about did I pay Larry the money back? Oh, I thought you I thought you were going to pay him the money back on the 19th or something. And I'm like, I, I was going to say respect to you for doing that because I wouldn't have done it, you know? I changed my mind. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because it was a gift. Like, I mean, I, I've returned gifts from people. And guess what my grandma always said to me? Uh. For every year for Christmas, every year, she sits there and says, well, if you don't like it, you can return it. Uh. Like, yeah. so. That is true. And Brian, didn't you tell me that you had the option of either getting a PS2 or a Sega Genesis, and he gave you the console? I you didn't asked want? him uh, for a PS2, but he didn't want to listen. Well, that's his fault. So, so yes, it is. Well, let me get like Bill Murray says in Ghostbusters: "This man has no dick." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, which, by the way, spoiler for the new Ghostbusters, Walter Peck is back. Why do they not have that line in the movie? Right? Like, come on. At, at least if you can't say dick because you might offend people, can you at least sit there and say, well, Peck, it's it's true. You still have no pecker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you come on. Like, I was like, no, come on. You could have... There was that perfect moment where he still could have done it. He could have humiliated Walter Peck live on TV. Yeah, Mr. Said, D-Man, people are pussies. Yeah. Yeah, it was one of those. Oh, I think I already read that comment. Yeah, I don't. So here, I don't know. Yes. I mean, DM. Um, hey, I mean, obviously this is a, I mean, I don't have well, to say, but, you know, I don't have to say this, but obviously you know, a joke. You know, I agree with Fabio. Demi Lovato, sh- that should have been Demi Lovato instead of DMX. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, trigger warning for the trigger warning, right? Right, Zach? Yep. And yeah, I can agree with that, uh, D-Man. I actually agree with that, too, and I'm not even the big... I can agree with that too, and guess what? I'm not even the biggest Spider-Man fan, and I've been kind of vocal about that. So it's yeah. and it's really because yeah. I actually like Big Bell as an actor. Like, listen, I, um, I, there was always the reason why. You know, here's my thing. I always knew that, you know, I I I, I looked up to Drake when I when I was a teenager. 
And now, mm-hmm. now, now, as an adult, I look up to him even more. You know, because because yeah. uh, Drake is a hero. Uh huh. Yeah, I don't care what anyone says. You can't top Toby as Spider Man, and Spider Man Two is still the best Spider Man movie. Amen to that. Yep. Just like Superman Two is still the best Superman movie. I like the first Superman movie a little more, but Superman Two is pretty good as well. Yes. Okay. So I don't know. Well, so it's been forty minutes in. I. What do we think? Is, he, is Larry the Batman fan going to show up or no? I don't know. I, I'm waiting for him to hop on the the chat first. Hey Zach, you know a funny movie reviewer you should check out? Who's that? That Don G. Corleone guy I told you about. He's he does some pretty funny rants. Yeah, he does. Oh, you've seen some of his rants? Yeah. Yeah. Did you see his rant he did on uh TMNT Mutant Mayhem? That rant was hilarious. Yeah. Um I haven't seen that movie and I really don't care to. I haven't either, but Donji 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 Corleone is one of my favorite reviewers on YouTube, and like Matt and Fabio, he's always honest and not afraid to share an unpopular opinion. And he thought TMNT Mutant Mayhem sucked, and that it was uh, close, uh, possibly the worst TMNT movie. And he doesn't understand why people liked it, but um, he did a rant on that movie, and he went over the top on it in a good way. Yeah, I I actually watched it out of curiosity that that mutant mate mutant mayhem. Jackie Chan was awesome, but and I had an issue with one thing in particular. Listen, I I don't I don't care if Rachel is black. I don't care because it's a new interpretation. But I had a problem that you turned her into a stereotype. Yeah, you had a, you turned her into a fat black woman. Like, yeah. Yeah, here's here's the thing I don't get. Like people like people complain about the fact that you know you race swap, you know, that you race swap Snow White and uh the Little Mermaid, but oh no, everyone's fine with April. That's such hypocritical. And make her well, a stereotype. You no, know, I, I, I go ahead. But yeah, like like the thing that's so hypocritical to me is like at least from the, I haven't seen the movie, but from the bits and uh, pieces I've seen of that movie, it has the same exact uh, issues that people criticize the the crappy Michael Bay movies for, and everyone gives those movies shit, but this movie has some of those same problems, yet everyone uh, sucks this movie's dick and say it's, oh, it's the best TMNT movie. Get the fuck out of here. No. No. Yeah, it, no. It's not the best. I have a different opinion about it, but it's not the best. I would say, the, <laughs> yeah. I would say that. I got, I got, that. you know what? I, I gotta, I gotta go with the original. Exactly, one. that's still the best one. Because Without Secret the of the Ooze, right? Secret of the Ooze is definitely still a, a, a definite close second. Mm. But I also that I also respect it so much because that was one of Jim Henson's last things that he ever did. And again, uh, people want to people want to shit on the 2007 animated TMNT movie. At least that movie tried, despite despite that movie's issues with Leo being a dickhead and stuff. At least that movie tried to have somewhat of a serious tone to it. Right. But yet, oh, but no, people give that shit and praise this new movie. And I like the 2007 movie, so for that reason. Yep, I'm already starting to hate that movie just thinking about it, and I know it would piss me off if I watched it. Yeah. Although, Zach, you should check out that Don G. Corleone guy. His rant on TMNT Mutant Mayhem was hilarious, where he just ripped um, that movie a new asshole. That was a funny rant. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> Listen. Ernesto Gaming, how's it going? Oh, and, and Zach, Donji Corleone also recently reviewed Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters, and he re- and he wasn't a fan of 2014, but he really he, he liked King of Monsters, and he also reviewed Godzilla Minus One, which he loved and thought was the best Godzilla movie, although 
the only Godzilla movies he's seen are Godzilla minus one in the American movies. And Godzilla minus one was his favorite movie of last year. Interesting. Right. You know, um, by the way, Dr. D man brought up a good point there. Oh, this comment here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so, you know what? And here's my thing. I mean, if we, if we want to, you know, live in this thing, world that Martin Luther King was saying, you know, we literally have to, for movies, we just have to make characters. It doesn't matter what your orientation is, what your right. skin color is. And like, um, Billy D. Williams said it best on The View, which he got banned from The View for this. He sat there and said, how do you feel about being a black actor or something like that? And they said, well, white people are actors too because white is a color. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yep. we, if you want to feel this unitedness that America still has, mm -hmm. make characters, you know, not, you know, not what you know and don't draw attention the thing that, that well here's what i see as woke honestly when they draw attention to the fact that they're black like really i could see that i mean i'm not blind you know right. and, and that, that's the character's defining trait they're black like, like here's okay. the thing with me like i'm okay with change as long as it's done well like i know in the comic books nick fury was white but I'm okay with Samuel L. Jackson's portrayal because at least he played the character well. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now, now, somebody here... Now, here's my thing, too. That being said... Like, a character like James Bond, for me, I am not okay with it because James, it's in the... I think when adapting anything, you should... Comic books are kind of different because comic books are, can always be different interpretations. Right. But a book, a book is written well. And usually they describe said character. Like Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's okay He's okay as an actor, in my opinion. I can't really see him as James Bond, though. Like, I was no. thinking maybe more so Luke Evans. No. Luke Evans is actually my choice to be the next James Bond. And guess what? He... I think that I think that Luke Evans should keep his Gable mustache because if you if you look at Clark Gable, Luke Evans is like the I don't believe in re reincarnation obviously because I'm the, because I am a Christian but you know but it, there there might be evidence with it between Luke Evans and and Clark Gable you know because he looks like Gable um, but uh -huh. Luke. Luke Evans is one of my choices. Uh, Theo James, the guy yeah. who Theo James, I think would be good. Um, an actor named Philip Winchester. He's on the TV show Strike Back. Um, and then also, I have a complete unknown choice. Um, does anybody remember Anthony and Gruber? He's the guy who uh, could do a really good Harrison Ford impression. And people wanted him to play Han Solo, and he looked like Harrison Ford. Wait, it, did he do a video on YouTube, like an animated Indiana Jones uh, video, where he impersonated uh, Harrison Ford's voice perfectly? Yes. Because it, okay, yes, I know exactly who you're talking about. I could see it. And well, you look at and and I think it'd be kind of cool to have a James Bond that can do all these impressions because it would be make it more believable that he's a spy. Now that being said, as I was saying though. James Bond was modeled after Cary Grant. Uh, and in the book, he was described as looking like Hoagie Carmichael, who was a, a singer at the time. And, and he was described as, he was literally described as white and Scottish. Um, hmm. and he was Scottish and uh, English, you know, and yes, he was Scottish after Sean Connery, but you know, my thing is, 
you know, now you, sh I, I don't want to see that. Now, that being said, I think, Zach, you're a big action movie fan. I think it'd be cool, and you love James Bond. I think it'd be cool maybe to bring in another 00 agent and then make a like a buddy agent movie with James Bond and have another agent be the, the you know. Like 007 and 008. Yeah, something like that. Oh, hell yes. I'm open to that. It'd be something new and different. Yeah, like, like, yeah, that'd like be make, pretty cool. make a lethal weapon movie, but James Bond. Hell yes, I'd go pay money to go see that. And get Adris Elba. Hell yes. So if I, it's done I, well, I think it could work. Yeah, but I think it would be cool. Like M sits there and says, by the way, 007, uh, because like I don't know. You you could sit there and do something where like uh by the way, 007, this mission you'll be teaming up with 008. And the series has always hinted that 008 is the rival, right? Yeah. So then they have to team up? Hell yes. I I, I think that would be awesome. They kinda did that with uh no time to die a little bit. A little bit, but you but know that I've, wasn't done as well. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking like l look at the lethal weapon movies and then go, go for that banter. You know, yeah, I thought well, about checking out. No, in the chat. I thought I thought yeah. about checking out No Time to Die. I will eventually, but I'm gonna wait until one day I review all the James Bond movies. And I will. I'm just gonna wait till I review all the previous movies. Oh, okay. Hey, also, you know Kevin my Daddy? top. You know who my top favorite Godzilla YouTuber is? Who's that? Well, I showed you one of their videos, Zach. June, have you seen any videos from uh, Monster Island Buddies? He's pretty funny. I'll have to check him out. He basically... It's basically this YouTube video series that began in 2010. Uh, he has a few spinoff series, but the main Monster Island Buddies series, it's... It's basically these videos where this guy plays with these Godzilla toys, makes stories, but they make them so immature and not for kids. Like, there was a funny one where Rodan was talking to Godzilla. He said, sorry, I fucked up Christmas for your son. Mm. And then, they're, yeah, they, they get pretty funny. And uh, and then one of the characters, Orca, uh, yeah, he he's one of the characters in it. He's a very self-aware type of character that <laughs> breaks fourth walls and and then there's like a spin-off series, Orga Reviews, and uh, where a guy plays with the Orga toy and he reviews Godzilla 2014, and he hated that movie, and he just does such a big rant on it and it pisses off Godzilla. It's funny. Actually, yeah, I think that's what they did, Andrew. Um, yeah, kind of. I was yeah. just mentioning that. Actually, Zach, I, I have a. You, you, I know. I know you really like James Bond. I might have a recognizable IP that could get get you uh, that public domain that you could actually do. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, now it's not record. Now it's not recognizable. It is recognizable. People would will would know it, but I think you could, you could get some funds for it and actually have a film with a budget. And you could more pay, maybe be behind the camera and actually focus on directing. Yeah, I mean, I think I would be better as a director than an actor anyway. Yeah, uh, I would well, tend to uh, agree with that. So what would you think about doing Bulldog Drummond? He was the precursor to James Bond. Check out some of his movies on YouTube because they're all for free. Because uh, the character is public domain. Hmm. Okay. Bulldog, Bulldog Drummond was essentially the precursor to James Bond. I wonder. I highly doubt it'll happen, but since we had a Winnie the Pooh horror movie, if it ever does become public domain, will someone make a low-budget Godzilla horror movie? You'll have to wait till 2049. Well, shit. I guess, <laughs> I guess we got a long way before someone goes and fucks it up, then. Well, King Kong, <laughs> King Kong is, is going to be public domain in about four years, so we could get oh, a King really? Kong. King yeah. Kong. Well, well, King Kong technically is public domain. However, there's a 
Oh, because of the MonsterVerse or contract and stuff? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a long legal battle with King Kong. If King Kong's from the Oh, kind of uh, like how... Oh, kind of like how there hasn't been any Friday the 13th movies in over a decade because of a legal court. Kind of like that. Not really. Well, we uh, we will... You, you want to know the truth of Friday the 13th? And this is... Keep in mind, okay? Like, I've... You know, all I'm going to say is look at my channel. You know, and I'm, I'm not plugging myself, but look at my channel. You'll see that I, I've... I've interviewed some people with Friday the 13th. You know, okay, because I that, saw you uploaded one on Adam Marcus. I'll check it out. Well, I've also interviewed Victor Miller. I'm not going to say which one, you know, we talked we talk to privately in the back because I don't leak those sources because I believe in old school journalism. Right. One of anyway. them said, one of them has said that we will never get a new Friday the 13th until Sean and Victor are both dead. Well, and, the, the closest content you'll get, I know they are, it is officially confirmed, they are making a prequel TV show to the first movie for Peacock, and it's going to be produced by A24 called Crystal Lake, which I have very mixed thoughts on because A24, I, actually, I like some of their horror stuff, but I don't really think they'd be a good ch choice for I Friday call, the 13th. I, I called A24, to, I called A24 to call them about that, to say, hey, you know, I think I could, I know a couple of guys that could do a better Friday the 13th movie than the the Pamela Tales or whatever you want to, what, whatever they were going to do. Yeah, because, and, look, I, look, I and, like the original Friday the 13th and the reveal of Pamela being the killer was a bit different from what I expected. Was, I, all I heard about was Jason before then, so that's what I expected, but the reveal of it being his mother was unique, but like that's not a story where you can do an entire prequel series right. dedicated that, to. That being said, though, I called A24 to pitch them a better idea because I have a, the best idea for Friday the 13th. One of the reasons why... Here's my idea. I'm, I'll explain why we have not seen Tommy in a long time. Tommy becomes a highly elite military, you know, like Rambo, solid snake type of guy. Oh, all right. And so he that he decides to basically think about it. Tommy was an inventor, basically, right? He he designed his own special effect. Uh -huh. So like I I made it where Tommy designed his own bat suit and oh, goes, cool. toe -to -toe, goes toe to toe with Jason. Oh and, hell yes, I watched that. And I made it where Tommy had this awesome gun that that I, I found. He has a double barrel bolt action rifle. Wow, and, hmm. and then he has this, and then he has the. I wanted to find a way. I wanted to have somebody sit there, and try to combine all the Rambo knives into one knife. So basically, it's like this machete Bowie knife, you know, that he has. <laughs> and, then, and then, like Jason has this twenty-inch machete. Okay, and then Tommy, Tommy sits there, basically pulls out a sword, and he sits there. He he sits there. Basically, I had this scene in mind. So basically, Jason sits there, is stabbing a kid. And Jason sits, then Tommy sits there, Jason, leave them kids alone! <laughs> <laughs> and then he sits there, Jason looks at him, and Jason looks at him like, what the heck is this? And then he sits there, well, Tommy pulls out his, his sword. It's a sword, basically. And he sits there, hey, Jason, my knife is bigger than yours. Come get some. <laughs> and so nice, Tommy nice just goes toe to toe with there. Jason. I mean, it was going to be completely um, badass because it's like, yeah, Tommy is going after Jason, and you nice know, person. yeah, <laughs> it was going to, you know, and I, I wrote, uh, listen, I, I wrote in that script, I wrote some. So I, I, I wish I could get. As I was saying, I did call A24. A24 told me with a straight face that they never had the rights to Friday the 13th, that that was an internet rumor. Ah, well. I bet a movie wow. will happen eventually. It's just going to be a, quite a while yet. Yes. Um, so here's my thing, though. 
Oh, I've been okay, Quarantin. So what I will say is this: I wrote, but I I I wrote some unique kill for that that script though. Um, I wrote um, Jason kills a kid with a skateboard. Okay. What? <laughs> Um, you know, because, like, come on, in the early 2000s, we were kind of, remember how skateboarding was cool and everything yeah. with the uh, hot games and everything? I feel like we were kind of robbed of a, of a good skateboard kill from Friday the 13th. Yeah, so, I, I <laughs> tend to agree with that. Yeah. So, Jason kills remember somebody Remember that Jason kill? Takes Manhattan where that guy was box trying to box him to death? That yeah. was a good kill, but fuck that movie. That's the worst yeah, Friday um, the 13th well, movie. It's um, an absolute bore fest. Well, so He's what like, I was going okay. to do your worst. <laughs> what I was gonna, but then, then I even wrote a very unique. I, I even wrote a very unique kill. <laughs> um, basically, so a girl uh, ha- brings brings a toy to to the camp. All right. And so the, you know the, the girl and the guy are having fun, and then J- all yeah. of a sudden, all of a sudden, J- it, I never show Jason holding the toy. But Jason sits there, shoves it up the guy, <laughs> up the guy's butt, <laughs> so hard. And it what? <laughs> what the so, hell? So I, 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 so in that sense, I literally wrote a scene where Jason kills a kills somebody with a dildo. <laughs> oh god! Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man. Because okay, I thought to myself, I cannot show Jason holding the dildo because oh my gosh, that would be mean all over the place, right? But it's the essence of Jason literally kills somebody with a dildo because I thought, okay, that is hilarious. Yes, it is. <laughs> but the I minute, actually kind of want to see that's it. savage. Whenever the next movie well, happens, I want that. <laughs> If that, well, if, that is, if that's not in the movie, then that's bullshit. I'm not watching it. Well, and then I wrote a very dark kill. <laughs> um, now, basically, there was a girl. I yes, I did go go here with the script. J- that uh, we ha- we have a girl overdosing on fentanyl. Jason just shuts shuts the door. Like literally, Jason's about to go kill her, but then he just sees that she's already dying, and he just shuts the door on her. Like, wow! <laughs> wow. Uh, that that that's hilarious. It, well, it, it, you're it, like, it, nope, yeah. you're doing it to yourself. Oh, well, yeah, dark humor, like, 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 well, to me, that okay, that was like a good allegory. It's like, listen, if you do drugs, even Jason won't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm like, oh my gosh, like that one, that kill. I mean, if I if I could top that, the dildo kill, the, the, that fentanyl kill is going to get so much more, you know, talk because people could be like, oh my gosh, Jason literally just shut the do- door on a girl that was overdosing. <laughs> um, so I don't, but no, oh my gosh, though, so, I mean. I wrote that script. That was a fun script to write. Um, but, and I think I called it like, I was inspired to write it by like some of those like hammer horror or like Italian, you know, movies that have those, some of those Italian movies have some of the best titles ever. Mm. You know, I think I literally yeah. called it Friday the 13th, part 13, the infernal bloodbath. Oh, that's a great title. Yes, and then, and then I was going to do a, a part two to that one, but then the, the final part of the trilogy was going to be Friday the Thirteenth, Part Fifteen. Jason takes back Manhattan. Uh, hmm. <laughs> and then it, I was going to sit there and conf- try to convince the studio, let's go all out with this one. You know, let's shoot in New York. Let's shoot at the locations. And I get, yeah. okay, make a good version of Jason Goes to Manhattan because fuck the movie we have. Exactly. And I, I would, I, I, I literally wrote, and that's Jason's death though. And that one, that was fun to write. I wrote it where Tommy sits there is on top of, I made it. Yes, I did make it the New World Trade Center, just because that building does need to be in a that building does need to be in a movie, you know. But 
but Jason is on top of the New World Trade Center. And then Tommy is right there with them. And Tommy just starts charging at J Jason. Uh, and then body slams him. And then, you know, basically they 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 start falling. And then Jason and also Tommy pulls out a parachute and then basically Tommy just lets go. And lets Jason fall. That was how uh, Jason was gonna die. I'm like, man. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, man, because if I thought way to go. I mean, yeah, because and then like but I I I mean the, that was so fun to write though, just because Tommy it, and even Creighton Duke was back. It was Creighton Duke and Tommy, like in this like you know lethal weapon type of movie, you know, where like they're they're complete badasses right towards Jason and Creighton Duke. Yeah, he was in a. I made him in a wheelchair, but because you know, obviously he can't exactly. He got bear hugged by Jason. So, uh huh. But he was in a wheelchair. <laughs> And wait, like, wait, he was bear hugged in part six, right? I need to watch those movies again. Not, it's been a nine, while since I've watched those. Nine. Oh, part nine. Yeah, so I've been okay, Kevin Daddy. Well, I've never been a big fan of part nine, so you know, I guess yeah, yeah I haven't really revisited since I first watched it, but Yeah. But oh my gosh, though it Ah, part eight for me is the worst. Fuck that movie. Although I'm not a big, I'm not a big fan of Jason Goes to Hell or Part Five, but I think Part Eight is much worse. I see. I I seem to like all the Friday the Thirteenth movies in some ways. They have its sentimental moments, but still, there there's some yeah. cringy moments. Yeah. yeah. Um. Also, you gotta admit some of the. Here we go. Is this really him? No, that's not him. That's uh, that's that fake account. Also, Zach, that thumbnail you used for that yeah, video. Yeah, thumb <laughs> that thumbnail you made. I love drama. Was hilarious. Was hilarious. Yeah, they. I noticed they used uh my thumbnail for their profile. That's funny. yeah. Yeah, of course they did. I also, June. Them, also, June bug. But that it's uh, still not cool to dox someone's address. It's not. So. No. E no. I mean, I I don't like Larry, but I I don't wish that on him. Exactly. Not also, June bug films that 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 Monster Island Buddies guy mentioned. The very first episode he did is called episode, uh, Monster Island Buddies Episode One. Rodan loves Mothra. Where it's a funny one where. Rodan gets pissed off because uh, King Ghidorah is cheating on Mothra. <laughs> <laughs> wow. he loves it, and he gets so fucking mad. Jay, check out that video. Check out Monster Island Buddies Episode 1, Rodan Loves Mothra. <coughs> it's a funny video. And the episodes, they it's definitely a, it's a very adult humor, but they're pretty funny. And they get funny as they go. Um, and and something interesting, they, they took one bit of the mythology and they made Godzilla in 1998 Godzilla's son. Stepson. Huh. huh. Hey, what's um, going on, Riley? I got... It, 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 su it sucks when you get docs, though. As someone yeah. who, who, who has gotten docs. It means a lot. Yeah, yeah one I, of my favorite... One of my favorite funny moments in Monster Island Buddies. I can't remember what episode. I think it's either episode 14 or 15. So this was like when they were early on YouTube back in like 2011 or something. Where episode 15 was where the monsters, they had like this uh, kind of like a news station, but for monsters. And uh, and then one of them said, you're even surpassing Gamera at the box office. And Godzilla says, Gamera, Gamera can lick the shit off my tail. He's a loser, which pisses off Gamera. <laughs> and he's and he's and he's drunk as hell. And he's drunk as no. hell on TV and on, and That's, high on cocaine yeah. when he says it. I like. I like. You know what? We need it. I I I've, I I'm trying to find out who, who owns the right to an American re the American versions for a Gamera. But um, man, you know we need a Gamera American remake. I 100% I, agree. Yeah. I know it's unlikely to happen because of the rights dispute, but. Uh, yeah, we need a Gamera movie in the MonsterVerse to uh, have his own standalone movie to introduce people who... Because let's be honest, most Gamera's people... Gamera's underrated. 
Because let's be oh, honest, yeah. aside from most, aside from the hardcore fans, most people are probably not going to know who the hell Gamera is. Oh yeah, exactly. Well, I I had an idea for a Gamera a Gamera movie. You know, basically, what I had an idea for was basically just like. Since Gamera is from Atlantis, that's part of his lore. It should be like an Indiana Jones type movie, you know? Oh, hell yeah! You know where yeah. like, and like it's you know, and then you know basically how I thought I I I thought was trying to I pitched it to somebody was okay. We have we you know this is this is Uncharted the game, not that crappy movie, but <laughs> the Uncharted the games. Nathan Drake, Nathan Drake and Sully find Gamera. Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, though, I love the Uncharted games. Uh, I've only played the first three. I still have yet to play four, and whatever that spinoff they did was Lost Legacy, but I played those games for the first time two years ago, and I really liked them, and I haven't even bothered to check out that movie because I know I wouldn't like it. <laughs> yeah. So, and but what I... Sucks, I and what sucks is that there were plans to do an Uncharted movie that got canceled back in the 2000s, and they act. I can't. I I can't remember who, but they actually had a good choice to play Nathan Drake, who looked like Nathan Drake from the games, and Robert De Niro was going to play Sully. Uh, yeah, I think wasn't it Nathan Fillion? Well, no, no, no. I think it was. I can't remember. Well, Nathan Fillion was in the fan film. I can't remember who, but. The original script was much closer to the games, and Robert you know, De Niro was gonna play uh, was gonna play Nathan. No, not Nathan Drake. Uh, Sully. Sully. And, and you know who would have been Wahlberg, better? And I believe Mark Wahlberg was gonna be Nathan Drake, which he'd be a more fitting Nathan Drake than he was Sully. You know who? You know who'd be a really yeah. That movie's kind of overrated a bit nowadays. You know who would be a good Sully? Bruce Ooh. Campbell. Hell yes, Bruce Campbell. Um, but so I that's how I I, I wrote kind of the Gamera little thing where it's you know at, in Indiana Jones Uncharted Laura Croft type of adventure, but with Gamera. And I and I had a very unique idea for an original an original kaiju monster. All right. What's that? I I was inspired by the xenomorph, you know. But mm. the like how the xenomorph is basically a parasite. So what if the parasite, you know, like if you get in contact with the parasite, this parasite, it basically like the xenomorph, how like it can attach itself to any animal. Oh, okay. And, and then like basically it becomes you be it becomes the xenomorph. Well, I'm like, man, what if we had a kaiju sized? Basically, it doesn't matter. You basically become that. You become a kaiju sized xenomorph type of creature, Ooh. but not not the xenomorph because you know. Um, we wouldn't want to get copyrighted, <laughs> right? Right, but like something like that, like you know. Like, but seriously, like, I don't. I have no idea because I mean, even though I like the first Fast and Furious movie, it's basically a rip off of Point Break with cars. I am surprised that whoever owns Point Break has not sued the hell out of Universal. Yeah, I don't know. Wasn't it who who, who distributed Point Break? Universal, although oh wait, no, I don't think Universal. Ah, uh, can't remember right now. But wasn't wasn't Point Break then a rip off of another movie, an earlier movie or something? I think so. I can't remember which movie though. Yeah, so but so that story has kind of been done before, you know. Yeah. You know. So I don't know. My thing is that Gamera, though, I want to see, I want to see Gamera come back. And by the way, I want to see, I and I want to see some heavy metal band tackle hasn't Gamera. Hasn't it been like? 18 years since Gamera had his last movie. Well, there was Gamera Rebirth. All right, Prison Metaler. Oh. See you, man. Uh, yeah, uh, Prison Metaler. 
but yeah, uh, Junebug Films, if you want to send me a friend request on Facebook, it's just Cole Warner. And the profile picture is the two Godzillas you see here. And then cover photo was Batman, Christian Bale Batman. I don't have, I don't have Facebook. Oh, oh wow. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Monster Island Buddies episode one. Rodan loves Mothra. That that it's funny, but it that shit gets funnier as it goes on with more episodes. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, but I, Gamera though, that's the thing about it though. Like he he needs a there. Katakawa, the rights issue in America is just a jumbled mess. Like, Hubi owns it. And then I think, um, who distributed the last camera set? Was it Vinegar Syndrome? I think so. It was either that or Arrow Video or something. I, think, I don't know. I think it was Vinegar Syndrome. So they, they own a part of Gamera. Tubi is owned by. Fox, not not Disney. Right. But Fox, Fox, Fox. So Gamera is owned by Fox News. Because according to my according to what I've done research on, Disney did not buy the rights to Gamera. Thank goodness. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad because we saw how bad they messed up Star Wars, so I'm definitely glad that they didn't get a right of Gamera, otherwise they would have oh, fucked that yeah. character Emperor, in the ground. Emperor Iger would not even probably touch Gamera with a 10-foot pole. He probably doesn't even know what Gamera is, honestly. You know? Either he doesn't know probably or he not. doesn't give a shit, or maybe it's both. Yeah. Well, and so it's probably... It's, I think it is... According to my research, it is literally Fox News that owns likes the camera for America. And, and yeah, OCP Communications was right when years years ago. So like about a, I believe it was about a year or slightly close to a year when Disney bought Fox. He said it would probably be a bad idea. Disney would lose money, and look how right he was. Man, you know what? I've been looking for a business partner. Maybe Honestly, OCP. I think Disney just needs to sell all of, if not most of their properties to the highest bidder. I mean, either that or honestly, the board members that actually voted for, for me before should honestly just vote me back, vote me in. Because I was told when I actually did run a small campaign, there were actually some shareholders that voted for me to be chairman of Disney. I, that's what I was told. Because, I mean, like, because, like, Disney, what? They messed up Star Wars. They messed up Indiana Jones with Dial of Destiny, which I cannot believe I used to think that movie was decent. I, I thought about it more. I'm like, fuck this movie. It is just, eh. I don't I know. I haven't seen it. I, eh, you're I've not missing out on I much. Just, I don't care for the girl actor in the movie. I can't remember her name. But I, her character you know, pissed me off. Well, she. Yeah, I agree. Well, I saw her. It's I saw her. It's I something saw I'm movie. not happy with. Uh, a game series I want to play. I've seen gameplay of that looks good is Tomb Raider. Apparently, the actress who played the girl in Indiana Jones Five is writing an Indiana Jones TV show. No, 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 oh, not Indiana God. Jones TV show. I meant uh, a Tomb Raider TV show. Well, so did, did, for did any of you Tomb Raider fans, she'll probably mess up that show. Well, she already probably. messed up. She messed up James Bond and Indiana Jones. So uh, I guess she's gonna mess up Tomb Raider next. Okay, my thing. Here's my thing. Listen, I don't have a problem. I never had a problem with that girl acting. Like I thought of a better acting. And Actress who could have played that role, but she's blacklisted by Disney. Kira Knightley would have. Oh, I, I thought you were gonna say Gina Caruso, but yeah, fuck Disney for blacklisted Gina Caruso because all she literally said was like something about how she appreciates the American oh, no. flag and Disney fired her. Gina Carano. Yeah. Well, listen, it's double standards. Pedro Pascal said the exact same thing, you know, basically, 
and then Gina Carano got fired. And like, here's my thing. If I was chairman of Disney, guess what would be happening? Both of you. You remember when you were in school and you know you got called to the office? Well, that's probably what's going to happen. You get called into the boss's office and we will both have a talk with you. Like, listen, you're representing a company here. You mm. cannot sit there and say stuff like that because you divide people. We, you know, we, we must remain neutral with our political beliefs. Exactly. Like, you can't do yeah. stuff like that. Like, but listen, you can sit there and say, I think this is perfectly fine. You, it's about how you word it. If I sit there and say, you know, I follow the Humper, the Humpernickel party, that's cool. But whatever you follow is cool too. You know? But tell people where you lean, but then tell people then, if you, if you don't follow that, that's cool. You know, the minute you start posting stuff that, you know, and I'm guilty of this as well. I mean, even recently on my channel, you know, and I think every one of us has made videos that we're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. We were thinking with, you know, we were thinking with our dumb ass, our dumbo oh, brains. Zach, you've done that, right? What's that? You've made videos where you're thinking with your dumbo brain, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. And then, like, man, I shouldn't have released that video. Brian, I know you've done that. Oh, definitely. And you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. Basically, I'm going to say this. If, if you're on YouTube and you know you're going to do that, what you should do is put this video up for, like, 72 hours. You should buy yourself a dunce cap and just sit there and say, I'm sorry, folks, I was thinking with my dunce brain. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep. Because and then put yourself in the corner, you know. Like, like getting back to that Disney thing you said, if I were in charge of Disney, like if they posted something like that, like I wouldn't just go and fire them right away. Like I would just have a talk with them, you know, saying, "Hey, it's okay to think this stuff, but maybe we don't want to speak about it publicly." Exactly. Well, that's what I would be saying too. You know, I've noticed that though. OCP communication is really good with numbers. Yeah. So, and I've been looking for a business partner. Yep. Because I really want to turn. Listen, I, people. Some people are misunderstanding. You know, I want to. I actually. I want to go into Hollywood, but I want to. You know, I. I, I generally want to be that person that makes movies better because you know there's a divide with movies right now. And I want to make, you know, that Star Wars, that Snow White and the Seven Doors movie, you know, that, that just people like, yes, this is just like, you know, that brings people to the movies. And it's universally loved because I haven't met any many people who hate the original Star Wars trilogy, right? Exactly. Like, you got to make something that most people will like. Mm hmm And so, I... My only thing about OCP communications, I've heard that he's, you know, where, you know, I've heard, I have heard with him on, you know, Facebook. Again, I'm not on Facebook, but I have heard he, he has said some stupid stuff before, but hey, and then again, everybody has. So, right. Um, but you know what? I would, I'm, I've been trying to, get, I've been trying to get Rambo Raff for an interview. I would love to have OCP too. But, you know, um, because, you know, he definitely is one of my, one of, one, one of the YouTubers that inspired me. And, and if, Hey, if OCP is my, um, if OCP is my business partner, that would be awesome because what I need, honestly, is my Roy, I need my Roy Disney yeah. because Roy was the finan financial advisor for Disney. Mm -hmm. And Walt was the face. I'm the face of Junebug Films, obviously, but what I need to turn into a profitable media company is the Roy Disney because I'm okay with numbers enough to get by.
Yeah. But when it comes to like financing stuff, no, like I could probably tell you how much your script is going to cost. But oh my gosh, I I've read so many scripts before that people send me. And Zach, congr congratulations on doing your your script literally on zero dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and you actually make them actual movies, but I've read some people's scripts that they were trying to argue with me about like their movie. Like they literally sent me a three hundred million dollar script. What? I, like, I can't fund this. I uh, I mean, even if I rob the bank, I'm not going to be able to fund this because you know, right. the banks don't carry that. Yeah, and I and they say, then they told me I could take out a loan. I was like, I am not going to take out a three hundred million dollar loan for to fund your movie, right? You know, because I am yeah. not going to. Hey, I'm living at home. I'm not going to put my mom's house on. I think this is my grandpa's house, so I'm not going to be putting my grandpa's house on mortgage. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I said, what if the movie flops? It was like, well, sorry, Grandpa, we're homeless now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're homeless. You better pack your shit and get out of the house. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so I guess I better start saving cardboard boxes. Because, uh -huh. like, oh, God. Like, so, so, uh, like, that's what the guy told me. Like, oh, I am not going to do that for you. Like, I can, and, you know, I can, so... Oh my gosh! So it, it's just been it's interesting when people when you, when you're when you try to start a media company, people send you their scripts, and then some people send you scripts that are it's like, dude, I can't do nothing with this. This this is like literally this is a three hundred million dollar script. Right. Also, I can't remember yeah. what the name of the movie is called, but there's a, a movie Fabio said was awesome. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like an action movie. I think it's from the eighties where. Charles Bronson is uh, killing pedophiles and shoving dildos up their ass. Oh, um, um, Iron Maiden did a song about it. Wait, what um, song? Oh, it, I don't know which movie that is. I think it's, is it Run, Hide, Fight? No, that was a more recent movie from 2020. No, 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 no. Oh, crap. what is the name of the movie? It's like the killer was it like the killer within or something like that or, or something? The closest it's, movie I can think of to what you described as Ten to Midnight, where Charles Bronson is hunting down a serial killer. That's the closest I can think of. <sighs> this I know this was like an eighty five. I think it's on it's on Tubi right now. It's on Tubi that movie. All right, what's it called? Just type in Charles Bronson on hey, Tubi. Just go on Google, go to his filmography. And it's a movie from 1985, right? Yeah. All right. I might. There's no drama. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, this was an invitation for Larry. But, but obviously he didn't show up because he's a pathetic cuck loser. Yeah, because he's a, he's a loser. No, Definitely. he's upset because his dick is small. Either that, or he doesn't have one. <laughs> wow, or he's just too much of a pussy to yeah, show yeah, up. Yeah. Doctor, if he has one, it's probably microscopic. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah, Mr. D Man is right. The evil that men do. Oh yeah, that is an Iron Maiden song. Yeah, that's. Also, while we're at yeah. it, fuck Twitter. I'll never have Twitter. Yeah, I mean, the I only have, I I, I have Instagram and Twitter, but um, I I don't have any followers because it's strictly a business thing. To, it messages people for interviews, right? So, uh, I had to do the necessary evil to get interviews, but you know, it's one of those things that I just don't like social media. So. Who's Saban? I'm not um, sure. Power Rangers. Oh, okay. Um. Honestly, <laughs> Toho, if you're watching this, just give the damn rights to Legendary. 
It would be Katakawa, but yeah. Hmm. yeah. Oh, hey, well, no, no, even better, Katakawa. I, 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 I don't have the track record that Junebug Film has made. As of right now, $13.41. Um, but give it to Junebug. And like, yeah. and I mean, Pacific Rim, the first one is good. Maybe like Guillermo del Toro directed a Gamera movie. I think I got I got somebody better. I think Zach could do it. Oh, I should do the Gamera movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, I would have to see how X Ray turns out first. Like, I don't think Zach has the money to make something that big. Zach, Not I really, think. But- well, I think I think that you would be you would be good with budget, honestly. You think? I think so too, because you've made very pretty good movies for zero dollars, you know. And then, like, basically, um, what I can say is that what I can say is basically with budget in the movie, you know, treat it like real life, okay? Like, you know, you. When you go buy groceries, you have to budget out the food that you can afford, not to afford it. And if you have extra money, you can get the food that you want, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's it's basically the same. Budgeting for a movie is the same as budgeting for real life. You just have to budget it out. Like, yep. okay, I want this in the movie, but I need this in the movie. And what you need for a kaiju movie? Action and 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 monsters. Yep. And cities destroyed. Yep. And Zach, I think that you I knowing you though, I know you would actually be taking a risk on miniature and using maybe like stop motion. Maybe yeah, stop motion for Honestly, the yeah. I I would like to see. I know it's not going to happen, but I'd like to see a a gamma movie in the monsterverse. But instead of CG, they use miniatures. Yeah, well, e- either that or use both. Combine. Yeah. Them. I mean, Godzilla minus one Ooh. showed you can use CGI and uh, and miniatures. Well, I think the same can work for gamma if they do it right. Actually, Zach, what I would suggest to you, if, if this ever happens. We're finding the guys who did minus one to do Gamera. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, that would work. And I will sit there and say this. With Gamera, um, we're going to sit there and try to find some way for him to... S- I, had a great, I, I had a great design that I came up with for Gamera. Um, hey, Seth, so one more the dinosaur guy. What's the dinosaur? Uh, is it an Anglosaurus? What is it? An Anglosaurus with the big, the big spikes that looks like a big turtle. It has a club on its tail. Yep, that's it. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Okay, so I had an idea to make Gamera look more like an Anglosaurus. All right. So yes, Gamera would have a club on his tail. I mean, yeah, like, that's the that's the problem hmm. that I have with Gamera is there's not that many different designs that you can do with him. So well, I kind of basically use the basic design of Gamera that they always have, but they kind of combine it with a bit of an Anglophorce and a snapping turtle. That's what I came up with. Mm-hmm. That would be cool. Also, um, another one of my favorite funny characters in Monster Island Buddies, uh, Jet Jack, was pretty funny in that he's like a bootleg hey, ultra um, fan. Huh. Hey, hey, I gotta, I gotta go here. So I don't. Looks yeah. like Larry's, Larry's not gonna show up. So yeah, yeah I'm good. gonna head out too. So yeah, and I'm kind of the same way. Sure. I was about ready to. Well, head out. Bye, everyone. All yeah, right, but, you, cool. Thanks for joining. Yep. Just want to get some some comments here. I personally, can't stand what modern day Disney is doing. Went to their theme park in Florida a couple years ago, probably for the last time unless they get their crap together. Yeah, I I hear you on that, uh Kyle. Hmm. Yeah, he didn't show up, so it's like Yeah, it's he whatever. Just out. 
You're just showing how much of a little bitch you are. Yeah, and if he if he's like, oh, I'm not going to join, but I'm going to make a video, then it's like, you're really a coward. He, he, he really is. It's already been proven already. But still, um, I'm probably going to go back to God of War or something, because I've been enjoying that game again. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. I got to the dragon part of the game. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of when you're climbing up the mountain and all that, and then a dragon gets in your path or whatever to getting to the top. Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's like, wow. It's like a freaking lightning dragon. Huh. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like, yeah, the visuals are great for the show. Or the game, I meant to say. Yeah. Sounds I've had neat. quite a day. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. I, Did you work I today? had to do... Yeah, I had to work today. Six hours. Same here. Yeah, what I had to do was work on. Oh, did I just say six hours and not and not like uh, twelve? Sorry, Larry. <laughs> yeah, that's all. That's all I'm gonna say to that. I don't really think it's his business to know anymore. No, it's not his business. And that's what the point is. Yeah, and it's like, dude. Like I told you already in my video, you can take that money and shove it up your ass. Yeah, I don't blame you. Because I'm sorry, you don't deserve it. Not with how you've been treating me and Zach. Yeah, like he's, still, he's still commenting on my that uh, video. It's like, dude, get the hint already. Yeah, he just doesn't know when to stop. So it's like, you know what, whatever. Let him talk his shit. Yeah, I'm just going to block him if he keeps it up. Yeah. But yeah, you're going to end the stream now? Pretty soon here. I'm just going to get to some comments. Uh, I kind of have this crazy idea. What if Warner Bros. brought out the entire of the entirety of Disney uh, I don't know. Maybe. Well, yeah, apparently my friend is playing a game I wanted to play. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Wait, what game is that? Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Oh. I'm like, you are a lucky bastard because you have the PS5. He makes a video on about my channel. It's game on. Yeah, uh, for real, man. I, I know. La I, I, yeah. Larry's just so bored with his life that I just, I guess he has nothing better to do. It, It's just sad and pathetic that he wants to stoop this low just to try to, I guess in his eyes, publicly shame us to his audience. That's not getting him anywhere because he keeps getting ratioed. Well, still, those screenshots I share, shared kind of publicly decimated him. Yeah. Yeah. And brought out the worst in him. I mean, nobody's oh, on right. his side from what I can tell. Other than that, Andy Kishore dude, which he, I'm not going to lie. Like, from what I've seen. And Zach G and Pink Hyde. Well, that Andy Kishore guy, I mean, no offense to him, but I always see him in Larry's comments, and he, he basically sucks him off. Basically. Like, says yes to everything Larry says, agree with everything Larry says and does. It's like, dude, don't you know how yeah. to think for yourself? What I don't like is that he likes to dictate how we should go about our livelihood, and it's like, you don't know what we do outside of YouTube. Why do you right. care? Yeah. I heard from a song once. He's a drama queen. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Definitely. 
the uh, I did have to work today with my manager, and it was how'd that go? Yeah. Well, he doesn't like truck day. I can tell you that. That's understandable. Yeah, because he just said, "Oh, they sent me the wrong fucking shit." <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I'm just like, okay. And he said, I'm sorry that I was an asshole to you today. I'm like, I did not even notice. Yep. Got nothing to apologize for. (laughs) Not really, because I really didn't notice. I just was like, okay, well, I get you're in a mood, but hey, it's whatever. I don't know, Andrew. I I think didn't well, you say that I dollars... heard, yes, uh, Family Dollar is closing 600 other stores. The only one that they're closing close to me is somewhere an hour away from me. I can't say where. Right. Yeah. But other than that, uh, we've been doing good on sales, so my oh, manager would let me know if the store is closing down. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, he will let me know because he always does. Yeah. And I still got to talk to him about my schedule for next week. And I'm like, dude, fix it already. Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, I got things I'm doing at the start of the week. Well, Uh... I don't mind doing a certain day, but it's got to be when I have availability. Right. Uh, the record store Cactus Music, I have I have not heard of that. That's cool, though. Oh, nice. But, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing on movie reviews and probably be doing another game review in due time. That's cool. Yeah, for the I, God of War game. I have a few video ideas in mind, but we'll see. Yeah. I'm I'm just gonna move yeah. on from this I had to, stupid yeah, drama I don't with Larry. Me. I'm kind of the same way. I'm kind of done. Terrible boss will say, Brian, that's not my problem. It's a personal problem. You work the days, I say. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I had a boss like that, and I'm like, you're kind of pressuring me to get shit done. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got picked up by my old co-worker today. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I ran into her for some odd reason. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah? Yeah, she's she's very nice. That's good. Yeah. She worked with me at Dollar General for a time. I was like, oh, wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Yeah, I don't mind the people that I work with. Yeah, it just... Like I told you, there's going to be drama there. There's going to be drama anywhere. It just... It's how you handle it. Mm Mm-hmm. I'll probably upload something soon, maybe a concert video from a couple weeks ago when I saw Zach Brown at the livestock show in Rodeo. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm not a keen uh, fan of Zach Brown, but hey, that's fine. Yeah. I respect your opinion. Your compilation CD collection? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah, I was actually going to start doing some of that stuff again, too. CD collection videos. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I haven't done that in a while, and I kind of lost track where I left off at. So I might have to redo all of it. Hmm. It's it's fine. It's just, it's going to take quite a bit of videos. Right. I don't know how many videos, because I might make the videos pretty long since I have the subscriber count to make videos 
over 20 minutes now. Oh, well, that that's cool. Yeah, when you're at a thousand subs, you can make videos over 20 minutes long. I I don't think I've ever noticed that. Yeah, you can. I, I actually did that with my year end last, last year. I was like, you know what? I'm going to uh, take this opportunity and make a 37 minute video. And it was not boring. <laughs> yeah. Especially since I've gotten up. Talking not... about music. Right. Every greatest hits record, I have maybe the only lonely disc. Interesting stuff in there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. yeah oh, I, I actually to... am uh, getting the Linkin Park CD this week. Oh, that comes out this week. Yeah. It's the anniversary album. I was trying to find North Lane's. Uh, oh, wait. Mirror's anniversary album. Or you mean the greatest hits? Uh, it's thing. a greatest hits one. It's only got twenty tracks. Yeah, I, I'm I'm probably gonna pick that up. Yeah, it's like if you go to Amazon, you'll find it for like twelve ninety nine. Oh, that's not bad. It, it was on sale. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. And then I don't do any more pre orders till May third. Because there's nothing else interesting. I don't care for fucking Taylor Swift. I don't care for whoever else. Right. Uh, I mean, I Pearl Jam, I may album. decide to. P.O.D.'s new album comes out in May. Yeah, I already pre-ordered that. It's going to be taken out of my card. When I, uh, once I have me in there for it. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to get that, too. I mean, I just... For me, I'm I'm trying to be a little more careful with money because, you know, I want to save up. Oh, yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, but I'd recommend at least saving up for something you know you need. Yeah, like, I mean, obviously, you know, I'll... I still spend, like, money on myself, you know, like... Yeah, food. Things that I want, yeah. you know. Yeah. Like I like if there's a CD money. I want, I'll go I'll go buy it, you know. Yeah. For a reasonable price. Yeah, it's if it's like twelve bucks, I don't mind. Yeah, I already got a CD today in the mail and it's a deluxe edition. Is it that uh some forty one album? Oh, I already got that already. Uh, oh my okay, God, how that is was that like album? Eighteen fucking dollars. How is, is it a that good album? album? Yeah, it's a pretty good album. I mean, a lot of critics are saying uh, it's not their best. Well, just and because one person an said not... good riddance, I'm like, you got to understand when it comes to some 41, they do their classic stuff for the first 10 songs, which is their heaven section. The hell section is their more heavier sound that we already know of. Since so they kind of like they kind of like did what uh what Demon Hunter did with War and Peace, pretty much. Pretty much, but they combined it together in a two disc album. Oh, like one's yeah. the heaven side, one's the hell side. Yeah, yeah, and I actually enjoyed it. It was good and for a, the twenty tracks, and apparently it's their final album. Yeah, it really is. Hmm. Yeah, and Derek will be from the band said, yeah, I think this is kind of the perfect record to close our career off as a band. Yeah, like, there's some if... bands that I think should really call it a career. Like, yes, uh, yes is a band that definitely needs to hang it up already. Yeah, like. The rumor with Linkin Park, I think we were talking about it yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was like, no, you need to just just do the greatest hits and anniversary albums, and that's it. Yeah, stick to greatest hits, anniversary albums, live albums, or Whatever. no more studio albums. 
No, I just don't think they even should have a new singer for it because I don't know how it's going to turn out. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, even even if Linkin Park wanted to do like a, a five song EP with like just the members that they have, I think I'd be okay with that. Yeah, but it'd be Mike Shinoda singing, just so you know. Right. But like, so, just like a small little project. That's why I say like a five song EP. Yeah, like there's North Lane's new EP coming out this week too. Uh, it's a six track EP, so it's more electronic metalcore stuff. But I'm I'm definitely interested because I've been following them for a bit. That's cool. Yeah, you need yeah. to pick up more Demon Hunter. Other bands I'm thinking about would. With- Three individual red albums, maybe some Lincoln Park or Breaking Benjamin. Yeah, definitely. I would recommend getting everything from all those bands. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to collect some red albums. So that is something I will do in the coming future. I have because all red albums. I just physical media is going to go away soon. We'll see. But when it comes Honestly, to red, if it goes away, then you're gonna lose a lot of sales. Oh yeah, apparently Best Buy is uh, closing a lot of their stores. Gee, I wonder why. Yeah, because you got rid of physical media, and no one's the company you're fucking supporting anymore. Well, like, I told my mom about it. I was like, you know what? This reminds me of a friend that told me that he couldn't buy DVDs at his uh, certain Best Buy because apparently they can't sell it to him. Yeah, I was really confused by that. I'm like, well, what do you mean you can't sell it to me? (laughs) It's on your shelf. And it's like, yeah, my mom was like, that's some bullshit. (laughs) I'm like, yeah. Well, you know, me. Blu-ray physical media is like, I mean, for the longest time, that was like the only reason people walked into Best Buy, you know? And yeah. now that they got rid of them, it's like, it, you're just, you're losing customers that way. Definitely. Yeah. But yeah, it's just, those are the only two releases I'm excited for this Friday, just North Lane and Lincoln Park. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I think Ghost Inside's dropping their digital record next week. It's just the digital version. The CD doesn't come out till June 7th. Oh, okay. Because they got to make it so in time for people to get their CD copies for it early summer oh okay yeah I did sell my phone but apparently I gotta see what this guy is saying about it cause he said oh can you do me a favor can you call cricket or whatever about it I'm like that's your responsibility not mine you're the one that bought the phone <laughs> yeah sounds, sounds like something like, Larry would do <laughs> no it's like you spend Forty dollars plus the tax and shipping on the phone, and you expect me as the seller to buy to call a certain cell phone service company on your behalf. I'm like, no, that's your responsibility. It's not mine. I can't do it on my end because that phone does not have service anymore. Huh. You got to reactivate the service with a different SIM card (laughs) or whatever you need to do. And honestly, if he says, I want my money back, I'll be like, okay. I'll be like, I'll sell to someone else or I'll just unlist it from eBay. Yeah. Just trade it in. It's all you can do. I'll figure it out, but I already factory resetted it. So 
at the most, I could probably just trade it in at a cell phone uh, store or something. Get maybe something off it. I, I don't need it anymore. So, and Junebug was saying, oh, yeah, you could get an iPhone. I'm like, I'm more of the Android person. Yeah. Well, it's all about preference, of course. Oh, I know. And I appreciate his advice on that. You know, because right. I, I wouldn't mind getting an actual iPhone, but I just haven't decided. Yeah, no, I hear you on that. Yeah. Like, I was going to go with a newer Samsung Galaxy A14, 15, or whichever one. Because they're starting to make higher a14s and all that right models for the galaxy ones yeah i don't blame you uh mr d d man i I prefer android in my opinion i haven't had problems with this phone uh but lately it's kind of been acting up a little bit but it has its minor glitches yeah. Yeah. I am going to get another phone, even if I have to get it with my cell service. Yeah, I would. Yeah. I'm going to kind of have to upgrade it a bit. I've had this phone since, like, March or April last year. Oh, man. I, I think I've had my phone longer than that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I'll probably upgrade it later on this year or something like that. It's just money's tight, and I got to make sure I pay my expenses. Yeah, no, I hear you on that. Yep. And I got to pay service to my uh, Crunchyroll thing that I subscribed to. I was like, you know what? Nine ninety nine is not that bad, and then I gotta pay it each month. Hmm. Yeah, it's only ten dollars. That's not that bad. Yeah, doesn't seem like much. Not really. Bidenomics. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jeez. I saw that comment. But yeah, um, I gotta go see what the seller is saying, so I guess you're gonna end it at the two-hour mark or something. Yeah, probably. Might as well. Yeah. yeah, we'll talk just one more minute and then you can end it. Alright. Yeah. Because I am getting a little tired anyway. <laughs> it It's been a day, and it's not a bad, wasn't a bad day at work. It just was, had to get shit done and in a certain amount of time. <laughs> yeah, same here. It wasn't bad, but it was sort of busy. I, f- I feel like it yeah. always is busy on the, in the first half of the week. It kind of is actually, but thank God we don't have to do certain McLean thing until two weeks later. Cause now bi-weekly I'm like yes yeah Larry never joined oh, I know that yellow it is what it is yeah it really is but yeah I gotta make sure I have money set in my account to pay for the Lincoln Park CD this week oh yeah for sure um, yeah I'm actually... going to take out like 13 something yeah, and I, I made a few sales with uh, shirts, so I'll be getting a, a portion of that. Mm, nice. Yeah, I haven't called the Maybe. guy yet. I'm planning on doing that. I'm just trying to ex- wait it out to see when I get to the 4,000 watch hours, and then I probably will call him. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, could, you could do that. 
yeah, it probably would be the preferable option because I just I just want to build up those watch hours again. No, I don't blame you. Yeah, but my uh, what is it? Uh, shorts, the short hours for my YouTube shorts have increased to almost four point five k. Huh. Yeah, because I've been doing quick track reviews. Oh, well, that's cool. Yeah, and it gets more recognition because people want to hear, oh, he did it so quick. (laughs) Yeah, I know that shorts, they typically do better than regular videos. They do better, and they help your channel grow, and you get more people interested in what you're talking about. Right. Like, I just released one today about the new Architect song. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, and it was only 57, 58 seconds of the short. Just breaking down the track and what I thought of it, and then I gave it a rating. Yeah, that's what you do. Yeah. But anyways, you have a good night, Zach. All right, you too. Yeah, I know you got to end this. Yeah, I'll end it shortly. Alrighty. Yep, thanks for joining. Oh, no problem. I'm kind of curious if anybody has heard the WoW Hits 2008 version of Breathe Into Me by Red. It's a Screenless version? You mean screamless? I don't think I have heard that. I'll have to I'll have to go search for that one. Kind of curious about it. Peace out. Alright, D-Man. See ya, Dead Yellow. Alright, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining the stream. So, have a good night, everyone. <laughs>